two with a sack fly tonight. Over the mound, right there, Kobe Carter, the first Arizona is headed to Omaha. <laughs> <laughs> All right. yeah, someone's gonna win, someone's gonna lose. It's okay. There's no Sprite in the future. There's no Sprite. There's lemonade. It is not bright. No, it's lemonade, I said. Absolutely. We've done this all year long. This is one of the best teams in college baseball. We earned the right to play postseason baseball here, and I'm so proud of these guys. This is an unbelievable accomplishment. But Joe, literally, from uh, the time COVID hit last year, I think it was March 12th, we stood in the locker room and we said, hey, our goals are not going to change. We're just going to be a little bit of a detour. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> When that happened last year, we felt like we had an Omaha team in 20. We said our goal's not going to change. The timing changed on us a little bit. Uh, but we went to work literally every day of this thing to make this night possible. My team played to the vision of uh, what we want, and I'm so proud of them. I'm so proud of all our fans. Get a note next week, and we'll see you <laughs> well, hey, Jay, you told us. First year, you went to Mississippi State, you won that regional, and you said Jerry Kendall called you. And you said, he said congratulations, and you said you felt accepted now. This is your program now. <laughs> yeah, no, this is our program. This is the University of Arizona's program, and I'm so proud of this team. And they represented as good as anybody possibly could. <laughs> 
through your mindset, Jay, after you leave the ballpark last night to get refocused for tonight, what was it like for you anticipating this game three matchup? Yeah, we got a resilient team. We've answered the call every single step of the way. We've responded to failure in a way championship teams do. I had no question that we would come out with the right mindset. Okay, no, it's not. We were a great team in Ole Miss. We knew we were going to have to get through one of the best closers in the country, but we were prepared. I mean, my alarm didn't go off. I just woke up at 5.30, drove straight here, and got to work, and uh, these guys did it. They, they made this happen, and I'm really proud of them. Did you get sleep last night? Are you, are you being honest? Did you get any sleep? Uh, yeah, I actually slept great, to be honest with you, but uh, when my eyes uh, opened up, my feet hit the floor, and uh, I, I'm just, I couldn't wait for today, I couldn't wait for this, this is exactly why these guys come to the University of Arizona, <laughs> and they did it. Well, offensively, Jay, you look at your lineup from 1 through 9, you've had some great teams over the years, in Arizona, of course, you made the National Championship Series in 2016, you had a terrific run in Nevada as well, brought us some good teams in San Diego. But what is it about your offense that makes it so difficult for the opposition? Yeah, it's uh, it's a lot of hard work. It's a lot of talented guys. It's a lot of hard work in recruiting. And then it's an everyday thing. They're just relentless in terms of the time that they put in, whether it be in the weight room, in the Terry Francona hitting facility, in video, in preparation. It does not happen by accident. They deserve all the credit for it. And, uh, man, I'm sure uh, happy every time I write up that lineup card with these guys' names in it. All right, well, but the last question I have for you, Jay, is when do you go to work on uh, the Vanderbilt Club? <laughs> and Kumar Rocker and yeah, Jack Leiter, have, when do you go to work? Yeah, I hear they have an okay, yeah, I hear they have an okay pitching staff, and uh, we're going to enjoy <laughs> this tonight. I'm going to tell you that right now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Kumar and Jack and Tim Corbin and all those guys will be on my uh, mind tomorrow. Wes doesn't well want you to enjoy this. He wants you to get to work right now. That's the way I think about it. <laughs> I, 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 hey, honestly, honestly, no. we got a great tradition here. We got unbelievable alums. We have the best fans in college yeah. baseball. And honestly, all I want to do <laughs> and these guys want to do is make you proud. And we certainly did that yeah. this year. Well, congratulations, Jay. We'll see you in Omaha. I love it. Thank you, guys. Jay Johnson, the Pac-12 Coach of the Year, the Pac-12 champs are headed to the College World Series in 18 trips. <laughs> the the and the dominating performance in Game 3. Well, yeah. I, you, I mean, we've watched a lot of teams and a lot of great offenses. Uh, I haven't seen one like this in a long, long time, and it's going to be fun watching these guys hook up against those two elite arms at Tim Corbin and Vandy. Arizona is headed to Omaha. Final out, Vince Vanelli nails it down. The Wildcats are up for 16 runs and winning the Tucson Super Regional. For my partner, Wes Clements and our ESPN crew, Roxy Bernstein saying so long. The Arizona Wildcats are headed to the College World Series.